Miranda. Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? You're enjoying this, aren't you? They shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging rather than dangerous. I'll drink to that. Trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? 
Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent them. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Commander Shepard, welcome to Silver Sun Strip. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has declared Silver Sun Strip a top Citadel attraction. It is known for its wide variety of entertainment facilities and vibrant nightlife. Any other important areas I should know about? The Normandy is currently docked in D24, which is tagged to your biometrics. Docking Bay E-24 has been repurposed into temporary housing to accommodate the recent influx of civilians to the Citadel. For medical needs, the Presidium offers leading-edge care at the Huerta Memorial Hospital. The Presidium Commons has been a cultural mainstay since the Council was first established at the Citadel. Do you have any information on Purgatory? The term purgatory is present in many civilizations with varying associated uses and meanings. No, the bar called purgatory. The Citadel Tourist and Visitor Board has no establishment by that name on its list of approved nightlife entertainment facilities. Any good restaurants? The Ryusei Sushi Restaurant is often cited as a local favorite. Unfortunately, it is currently undergoing repairs due to extensive water damage and miscellaneous destruction. What else is in the area? Silver Sun Strip is a popular destination with both tourists and longtime residents of the Citadel. Its most well-known attraction is the Silver Coast, a high-end casino and entertainment facility. That's it. Thanks. Please speak with me again if you require further assistance. So I'm deployed to a hotspot on Novaria. My usual squad's on medical, so I'm stuck with any N7s who are nearby. I just wanted a nice, smooth mission. You know, professional. Ended up a damn train wreck. We're fighting for the fate of the galaxy. You'd think we could handle one mission as a coherent fighting unit. Squad, Lady Gold. 
Brilliant ending. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Caesar. Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. Specialist? Commander? Kick her ass. Roger that. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. I'd expect the great thinkers to be helping with the Asari war effort. I mean, Earth was taken by surprise, but Thessia? You had all the warning in the world, and the Reapers just rolled in. Excuse me, I'm trying to play. You're trash-talking. That's another strategy that doesn't work on the Reapers. It didn't work on the Rachni either, or the Krogan. Have the Asari ever won a war? The Asari have a culture that was exploring space while you were using stone-tipped spears. I think you're supposed to hit the button there when your turn is done. I'm sorry to Sousa. This might sting. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Shepard, this thing is fucking impossible. What are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. 
Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? You really want one of those plushy toys? God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Here, let me. Beginner's luck. It's obviously rigged somehow. But I just... Never mind. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid. We're two. How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? Zaid, will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. A few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes, I am. You go first. All right. You will move. Interesting. I've watched some of your other matches, and you've never opened a game with that particular move. What are you planning? I planned on starting the game. It's still your move. Right, sorry. I'll just advance this. No, this frigate. Good night. In these troubled times, go with the investors you trust. Go with first to So there I was, taking cover behind a table in the middle of this Asari monastery. Zion on my right side, pinning me down. Abominations coming into the room on my left. Oh, that's brutal. I remember when we thought the Reapers had the toughest ground troops. Good times. Come on in. What's up? Who's this patriarch person you keep going on about? What? You never heard of Mighty Patriarch? 